I'm going to walk you through how to make this delicious, not edible, simple burger. What's great about it though is once you get the tools to like melt cheese and make a patty, you really can go nuts with this. Maybe you throw on some of your own bacon creation or lettuce or or or. It becomes a bit of a challenge. But it's also really fun to have some of these tools, such as adding a image te using textures uh, and using physics and cloth. So a burger is a super great way to learn Blender. So without further ado, let's get going. This is Blender. I'm going to show you how to make a simple, fun hamburger in Blender. Let's get going. General. All right. And we're not going to need this guy. I'm going to hide my light, hide my camera and go ahead and get rid of my cube. What I do need instead of a cube, I'm going to click on add mesh and I'm going to do the UV sphere for our hamburger bun. And I'm going to up this from 32 segments to 64. Okay, That's looking good so far. I want to go ahead and resize it. So I'm going to click on resize and pull. And I was thinking 3.5, 3.5, and 3.5 should be good for our purposes. Actually, we're about to chop it in half because it's a bun. Let's try 2.5 maybe. We'll see what that looks like. All right, now I'm headed into edit mode. Okay, so in, in edit mode, what we're gonna do now is, well, make it a bun. We wanna separate these surfaces. So I'm gonna click X, all right? And then I'm gonna click on face select. Let's go ahead and do select none. And I need it up here on show X-ray because I'm gonna select all the middle ones. And so these dots are the face panes. Select box. I need all those dots and these dots. Okay. And let me double check that I got. Yep. Great. So now face. Oops. Mesh. Delete. Faces. And yeah, that's looking great. Actually, let's leave this on for just a sec. I'm going to go to vertex. And I'm going to select all of these bottom ones. And what I want to do is vertex, new edge face from vertices. And then I'm going to do that again right here. Because if I, there's no face here. So let's go ahead, vertex, new edge face from vertices. Cool. This is already looking good. I'm going to make sure to do select all, mesh, separate by loose parts. Let me head over to object mode, grab this, uh, boop, and I'm going to pull it up. I'm just going to put mine at 2.5 just to get it out of the way. Okay, and then I'm going to click on this guy and go back into edit mode. So the bottom of a burger bun is flat, and obviously this is not. So to rectify this, I'm going to go ahead and go on to x-ray mode. Face select, and I'm going to get rid of these two bottom rows. So let's go ahead and now mesh and delete faces. And now let's go ahead and vertex. I'm going to select all these guys again. Yep. Vertex, new face. We turn off x-ray mode so we can see it a bit better. Okay. And that is looking a bit better. I'm actually going to pull up just a bit on this. Um, 0 0.1 is usually perfect. So there we are. That's looking a bit more like a burger bun. So what do we want to do next? Well, let's go ahead and actually add some of the material for this. So I'm going to go into viewport shading mode, or I'm going to view material or a material view mode. I'm going to go into object mode and go ahead and I'll select either one of these and go ahead and go to material. I'm going to hit new here. And instead of material one, let's call this bread or maybe just bun. All right. I have a photoshopped up texture of a bun. It is not perfect or high art. I will put it in the description so you can have access to it. It works pretty 
well. Let me go ahead and open it. And I saved it to my download folder and. Oh, here it is. Bread again. Open. And let's take a look. Ta-da! A burger bun texture-ish. Right, the bottom looks a bit weird, but that's fine. We won't be seeing it as much, and we can also fix it if we want. So I'm going to add, though, just to give it a bit of a darker tint, a subsurface. So let's make that about 0.2% viewable. And let's make it dark. 654321 is my favorite brown because I can remember it. Yeah, something right around there is looking awesome. And you can see how it has the texture of a button. So let's go ahead now and go over here. And I'm just going to put button. Boom. So that is the setup for our, well, for our burger bun. Let's now add the patty. So I'm going to go ahead and do add mesh UV sphere. And I'm going to right away scale right about there, right? Because you want it to stick out a little bit. So 4.2 we'll try, 4.2, and then for Z, 1. And we can already tell sticking out way too much. Looks like an egg. So let's try 3.5, 3.5, and maybe. I want 3.6, 3.6, whoa, not 36. And 3.7 it is, okay? And for this, maybe something like that. Okay, let me just pull this up so we can see the whole thing. Got it. And let's go ahead and add a modifier right away. Okay, I'm going to rename this so I remember what it is. Oh, no, let's not deal with that. Let's go ahead and add a modifier, though. Add modifier. And the modifier we want is displace because this is going to be a texture. So we need a new texture. And the textures we'll be using here, right, texture, uh, we should call this beef. And what we're going to do is go down here. And I need clouds. Yikes. And it goes nuts, right? Well, that's fine. Let's go back up over here. I'm going to lower the strength to 0.2. And you can start to see more of how this could be uh, beef. Okay. Maybe 0 0.15. 0 0.18. You got to find a number you like where you think it looks realistic. I'm thinking 0.16. All right. For mine. And then I'm going to push this back down here. Boom. Okay. And then let's go ahead and add a material for it. New. Uh, patty. Sure. Okay. And then for the color, I always start with brown because I can remember this color. Oops. Color. Um, with the hex 654321. But I do know I want to go a bit darker for this. So I'm going to go for B. 3218, at least for mine. And I wanted to give it a little bit of a shine, you know, like it's just been cooked, it's juicy, yada yada. And so I put the metallic at a point one. And you can already start to see how our burger is coming together. Okay. That is looking awesome. Up next is cheese. So I'm gonna hit Z. I'm gonna hit add mesh plain and right away on this i want to do scale Oop. that's going to be too big think about where the corners want to hang out something like that okay so three and three and three it is i'm going to click on x and let's go ahead and move this up so we can see it okay let's give it a color so I actually looked up a hex for cheddar cheese because I'm that person. Um, and there wasn't a firm consensus. There was large agreement, though. Oh, uh, there was large agreement, though, around a color, something like that. I saved it to my clipboard because I'd forget. 
boom. And so what I just put in there was FD941F. And that was looking good. I thought it might be slightly less rough since it is cheese, a little bit shinier. Put this at maybe a 0.4 for our cheese. And what's really fun about the cheese is we need it to be melted, right? What's cheese without the melt? So to do this, we need to add a few different things, okay? For our cheese to melt, we're going to go ahead and do add a modifier, and we're going to make it a clothing modifier, all right? And then now that we have this clothing modifier, we can control it in physics right here, okay? So I'm not super worried about steps right now. I'm going to change this to three. What I also want to do with my cheese, though, is I'm going to go into object edit mode and I'm going to do edge subdivide and we're going to do 30 subdivisions, lots and lots. OK, so I can click off and go back into object mode here. Now that I have that all set, I'm going to click on my burger. And I need to add a collision modifier. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out. Boom. And just like that, we have cheese. So I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to increase the size of my piece of cheese. So maybe a 3.2, 3.2. Now let me see. Boom. Let's go all the way around. I think that looks great. So what you do with this type of a modifier now, I just go into the modifier and I need to hit apply. And now that's how my shape is. Pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to go into edit mode and face mode, select all of my cheese. Because I need to extrude the faces just a little bit because it's a totally flat plane. And cheese is small, but it is not completely flat. So I would do something like 0 0.8. Whoa, 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 whoa. 0 0.08. Ah, let's do 0 0.04 even. Uh, maybe it's a good piece of cheese. 0 0.05 it is. All right. And perfect. So you can see how this quickly becomes a hamburger with just a few tricks. But uh so what you should do though is challenge yourself. You saw how cheese worked. Try to add lettuce, add a tomato, add a pickle. Maybe you put uh, seeds on top of our bun here. You should do some really awesome stuff with this and comment below. Tell me what you did. Tell me how yours is better. Make it cool. Be a chef of 3D. That was really nerdy. If you're still watching this, make sure to hit like, make sure to hit subscribe. It gives me warm fuzzies. It makes the world better. And all of that. I'm going to go eat this burger. That was corny. Bye.